Okay, so you are gonna wanna hold your breath for this video. Just kidding. Anyway, um, actually you will. Today I am talking a little bit about pH. If you have been a student of any kind of natural health for any amount of time, you've probably heard this concept that, um, just to completely oversimplify, that lower pH um, being in a state of acidosis or an acid state leads to health problems, things like cancer, or diabetes, you name it. The, the, the pH link um, is connected to all kinds of chronic disease and that you want your body to be more alkaline or um, basic than you do um, acid or um, acidic. So um, that that is a way oversimplified statement, but yes, it is true. And while you're blood pH is very, very tightly controlled. It always hovers around 7.3 and some change. Um, it, if, if you are in a more acidic state, your body just has to work harder to keep it there. And so that puts a load on your kidneys. It makes you age faster. It makes you tired and not have as much energy as you could and some other things. So there is a real simple little test you can do where you can take a deep breath in and then hold your breath and time yourself and see how long you can do it. And um, ideally, you will wanna be in the 40 second to 65 second window. If you have to bail out before that and say you can only do it for 30 seconds or 25 seconds, you can guesstimate that you might be tending towards an acidic um, nature in your body. And if you're too high, you might think that you're shifted on the um, basic or alkaline side. And it's way, way more common to be shifted acidic than um, it is basic. And then there are some also some uh, blood markers that you can use and they're calculated. So a lot of times they're not on standard stuff. I add them on my stuff and in my blog article this week, which is posted uh, in the com or below in this um, description, you can read more about it and you can actually see if you have some blood work and you want to calculate this. I go into a little more detail about this and how it all works. So um, anyway, just a fun little test you can play along with if you're holding your breath and you can only do it for 30 seconds or, or something like that, you might want to just check out what you're doing in your lifestyle and see if um, you need to start eating more fruits and vegetables, more alkalizing foods, um, cut out some of the sugars, uh, process fried foods, um, limit your toxic exposure. Those are all things that shift you um, acidic. Even some things like uh, endurance exercise that s seems like it would be really good for you. If you exercise too much, you actually create a lot of lactic acid and that will shift you um, into an acid state. So anyway, just a fun little test. I thought you might want to play along. Thank you.